This is the fourth part of the series that I'm doing. You can see the link below this video uh, to see the other ones. Uh, this is wheelchairrights.wordpress.com and this uh, series is about these products that are made by um, Healthcare Mobility out of Toronto. And this is the backrest that's mainly the biggest problem of it all. I was telling them that when you order a backrest, the seat's 22 inches, the, the backrest is 22 at the top. And the way they made the wings on this is stick way out. And it took us six months to order different armrests to try to find one that would work on this chair because um, it takes a long time to order these products and get them delivered. And So I just want you to see it because you can see my other reports that I did. You can see how big these wings are. Now what you don't know is, is what was done on this chair, the area that I was talking about that has no padding. This right here all this padding was put in here. All this, all this area had no foam in it. And you can see it, uh, from the videos that I did earlier showing you their own product pictures that this is actually very, very thin. It's steel and they've got no foam underneath it. So now when you're sitting in it, your body is rounded. Now if, if you're being jolted back and forth, your body will rest against the, uh, this foam, which is what it's supposed to do. That's what the wings are for. People don't order these wings because they're trying to be comfortable. They order these rings. They only put these type of backrests on wheelchairs if the people really need them because they're expensive. Normally you just get ordinary flat straight uh, backrests. So the only reason you've got wings is because you've got spinal injuries or you've got broken ribs or you have other th reasons why your body can't sit straight and chairs uh, really ride you very rough. So if you look carefully here and then I'm going to back up and I'm going to zoom in. This by this armrest, the top of it right here, it's a throttle armrest and uh, that was needed for this chair and you can see that it had to be pushed pretty hard against it. Don't forget this is steel inside there. So this armrest is being is being forced into place. But if you look right underneath here, see if I can do this, you can see right here, this is the original armrest and it has three slots in it. This is a slot, oops, I'm a little too close. I'm going to back up here. Anyway, you can see three slots and right there, if you look carefully in the center, you can see the bolt. Well, this armrest right now is adjusted to the furthest out that it can go, but it's made to go in any, any one of those three slots, and that metal bar right here that you see is the armrest. And all chairs are made the same way, and they bolt on to that steel frame that I was telling you about, which is right there. See if I can show you. See? So th there's, no, uh, there's no real uh, options. This is the way all chairs are made. Uh, they, that, that post, that railing, sorry, that bar right there only comes up maybe an inch or so. Now one thing that's really important about wheelchairs when they manufacture them, when they put them together for people, is the, the width of the wheelchair. The wheelchairs have to be able to fit through a standard doors. So when wheelchairs are engineered, they're engineered very, very carefully not to waste space so that the person can be safe and comfortable in it and so they can fit through the door. Right now, th these armrests that we ordered are actually out a little too far because uh, they really need to be in two more inches in. So right now when this do chair goes through a uh, door, the, both the armrests scrape against standard doors. The chair is actually too wide. And this, the seat back is 22 inch, away, and that's the biggest you can buy. The wings are sticking out, as you can see, at least two to three inches wider than the chair. So this is what the problem that I want you to know about, that if you're going to buy a, b a backrest from this company, it's not going to fit any chair. It doesn't matter if the chair is 18 inches wide or 22. They're all constructed the same way. And there's only so much room for the armrest to fit on. So I figured I would do this little, this little video right here showing you just how bad uh, the, the backrest is. And that's their, uh, their $500 cushion right there. They claim is uh, you know, a memory foam and really comfortable. And that cushion there, if it's anywhere even cool outside, the cushion hardens up like a rock hardens up like a rock and stays that way and it's really really uncomfortable and when I talked to them on the phone they, they told me well you can always just take the products back to you to the people that put the wheelchair together for you and just get your money back I said no really that's not the problem the problem is that maybe you should care about what you're producing so that you're not causing problems for everybody because one of the things that people have to realize about the wheelchair industry it's unregulated and the people that uh, assemble custom wheelchairs, which is most wheelchairs have to be customized to fit the person's weight, size, and special needs. Everyone's different, so every wheelchair has to be different. But realize that they charge at least $85 an hour for their work. So when they come up with this problem with the armrest not fitting, 
Well, you're, you're looking at months and months of delays. You're looking at people putting armrests on, ordering them. You're looking at an extra couple of thousand dollars just in labor costs, just because the armrest didn't fit because the backrest is not made properly. And this manufacturer doesn't care. And I had to pay for my own wheelchair, and I had to pay my, my own costs. And, and uh, this wheelchair was delayed by five or six months. It couldn't be finished because we couldn't get the armrest for it. And we tried different ones. So please, whatever you do, don't buy any products from uh, Mobility Healthcare out of Toronto. You see, I, what's it called? It's called Future Mobility. Sorry, Future Mobility. Dot Inc. Just look at the link below this video and you'll see all the information about this. And uh, this is uh, my custom made wheelchair, which is based on a. Uh, it's actually made for doing videos because I'm a photographer. It's an all-terrain wheelchair and the reason why I got it all-terrain is not because I'm going to be driving like crazy, it's because it's the softest riding wheel suspension in the world and it's made by Magic Mobility, the base of it is, but the whole chair itself was completely custom built on top of the suspension. So again, thank you for watching. Go to wheelchairrights.wordpress.com.